Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today we're going to talk about Dungeons and & Dragons, and we're going to talk about this new Spelljammer product and the shape of the product. It's dramatically different than anything they've ever done before, and today I want to talk about literally just, just the specific negatives of this product shape, right? So what is the shape of this product? It's in a slipcase. Uh, by the way, people keep calling it a box set. It's absolutely not a box set. It's a slipcase. They slip out of the sides. There's a difference between a box set and there's a difference between a, a there's a difference between a box set and a slipcase. This is not a box set. I've heard multiple people say that Spelljammer is going to be a box set. It's not. It's a slipcase. Okay. All right. So be, and and I will say legit like people don't even know what this thing is. Like it is like this really came out of left field, and they showed this in D and D Direct and and like Nerd Immersion and many other didn't even really understand what they were looking at, right? Which I get, there was a lot of content there. No, no shade on them for missing the, the structure, the actual structure of this product. But this product is structured in a way that no other product has ever been structured. We've never ever had a product like this in D&D where there's three 64 page hardback booklets in a slipcase with a DM screen and with a, with a free floating map, right? All coming out. So let's talk about the negatives of this of this product shape. This this completely unique, completely unprecedented product shape. Okay, let's talk about the negatives. It's twenty dollars more. Retail on um, on a regular book is fifty is forty nine ninety nine. The the standard two hundred fifty six page hardback. You know, same as like Explorer's Guide to Mount um, Wild Mount. Same as the Eberron D and D five e book. You know. The standard, you, you've seen it a million times, like you know what the standard 256 page hardback is, right? So, this is $20 more, $20 more, and has a retail of $70, right? Um, and in addition to that, you get less, 60, you get 64 pages less than the standard 256 page book. So, you're paying $20 more to get 60 pages less. A lot of people are gonna. That's you know that it's hard to sell that as a positive. It's a, it's a negative, right? So that is a distinct negative. the The next thing is the slipcase, right? Now I actually listed the slipcase in the positives. The slipcase is also a negative. <laughs> the sl the slipcase is really beautiful when you go into the shop. <clears throat> excuse me. And. Um, and you just pull it off the shelf and you have this beautiful thing. And when you slide those books out of the slipcase, it's so nice, right? But there are some serious problems with slipcases, right? So one, when you start using and reading these books, where does the slipcase go, right? It goes on the floor, it goes on the table. Like, it, it's no good place for it, right? The only good place for a slipcase is a bookshelf, and that's if it's full, right? So this thing is, you know, so you got this vestigial nub that is the slipcase and, and this thing's gonna go around and like, so you're like, you know, so now when you're actually using these books, the slipcase is just sitting on your, you know, um, on your bookshelf empty, right? Like, plus some people don't even have bookcases anymore, right? It's, it's something, it is like a serious issue, right? It's just, um, it is definitely a serious issue. This is a very serious, like this product is in a shape we have never seen before and it is really, we are really in weird land here, okay? So so the slipcase can be a problem. Um, the other thing is just like the product itself, like when you, and actually you can tell you right now, this thing is gonna be worth a fortune, all right, in the future if you have it, and if you have it sealed, it's only gonna go up in my humble opinion, right? Now I'm not like, you know, I don't know, I'm not a seer, I don't know the future, but I own, um, the Marvel Saga game. And that thing is worth a fortune because it came with a deck of cards and almost everybody who owns it doesn't have the cards today or they don't have a full set, right? And my 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 Marvel Saga tabletop role-playing game, <clears throat> which was a diceless system that ran on cards, is worth a fortune because people lost their parts. So people are going to bust this thing open on day one. They're going to lose the map or they're going to lose the... Uh, um, the, you know, the the DM screen, or they're going to lose one of the books, and now this thing's a partial, right? And, like, what is the value of selling each individual book? It's just, it is a mess. They're from a collector's, and that's another thing is people are going to protect these, like, collectors, right? And so now 
you have this book that you're like, and I really bang around my 256 page books, man. I carry them everywhere. I wrote, I write notes in the inside covers on stickies, so that really doesn't destroy them or anything. Um, and, and that's a recent change. I used to na- annotate right in them, right? Um, but this is, this is, this is a very weird shape, right? And so those are, so the, the collector's aspect of it can really be a negative. The book, the slipcase could be a negative. The $20 more is a negative. The 64 pages less is a negative. Um, I think that's all the negatives of this product, but this thing is very, very unusual and very distinctly odd. Okay. And I'm actually not going to give my opinion on the product in this video. I'm just going to keep it tight. This is just discovering the negatives of, of that product. Uh, th- here's another one. Yeah. So one, people don't even understand it cause it's unique, you know, like, so people are going to be confused by this product. Here's the last one. The last negative. Who is this product for? This has always been a problem in D&D, and it's even sharper with this product, with the Spelljammer uh, 364-page book slipcase product. Um, So basically, Dungeons & Dragons has this huge problem where when you buy these 266-page books, no one is permissioning the players to buy these things, right? So, And a lot of Dungeon Masters, who are, in my opinion second tier dungeon masters don't encourage their players to buy these books. They're like, Oh, we don't want you to get the spoilers. Oh, and you can't look at the monster manual, uh, even though it has beasts all throughout it. Right? Like it's outrageous that we have dungeon masters who are like, you can't look in the, in the monster manual. I know you're, you're the mount. I know there's like 15 different mounts that are put in there. And I know that there's beasts that you see along the trail road, but you're not allowed to have the, the monster manual. It's so utterly ridiculous. Right. And so Dungeons and Dragons is one of the worst business models of any game, right? Because they don't permission players to buy these things, right? They never have, right? And it's a huge problem because if you're a player and you got cheddar, you literally aren't allowed to buy these products by most dungeon masters, right? It's, it's a horrible, horrible problem, right? From Especially from a business perspective, right? And this is even worse. This thing looks like a DM product from the gate. It's got the world guy, it's got the monster manual, and it's got an adventure, right? And the books all have that too, but this thing looks like a slip case and then it's got a, a DM reference guide, like a DM fold out screen, a DM screen, right? That screams DM and it's got the map, right? Like, so that even if the players bought this thing, there'd be like six maps and six DM references and, you know, like, and the, the players are, this product screams if you're a player, don't touch this. Oh my gosh, right? Every table is four players and one DM. And you're like, hey, look at this shiny product. Here's, a, you know, you can buy this as a DM. You got four people there. Uh, four times 70 is $280, but we don't want that $280 of money. Like, this is the worst business model under the sun, right? Like, it's just so bad. And, and, and Wizards of the Coast is doing so much to discourage purchase of these products by players, which is insane. It's insane, right? So this is the last and worst part of this product. It's just, that is an outlandish way to to sell a product, right? This thing is very, very weird, very weird, and has many, many problems. That's my opinion on the problems of the Spelljammer 364-page slipcase product. What do you think are the products, problems of this? Did I miss any? Are there things about this thing that you think are a problem? I'd love to hear them in the bottom below. Please consider, in the comments below, please consider like subscribing and have a wonderful millennium.